guys, it's Alyssa. I wanted to show you, I've made quite a few nail polish purchases recently. I didn't have, um, I didn't buy a ton of nail polish in the summer because nothing came out really that was that much different from what I already had except for the SC um, Bikini Sotini collection. I was excited about that one. But I haven't been excited about very many nail polish collections in a while. And the downside of that is all the ones coming out for holiday, I'm really excited about. So I'm going to have to start saving my money because there's so many cool things coming out like around um, middle of November and Christmas time. But I got a couple of things early. I'll do, the ha I guess I'll do the Halloween one that I got first and then I'll do the winter one second. And I didn't have enough of any one collection really to do a video by itself because it seemed kind of lame. So I'll just show them all in this one. But the first collection I got was the China Glaze. I believe it was called the Haunting Collection. Or Wicked Collection. I don't even remember. The box that it came in, I really just went to get this one glitter polish that I'm wearing right now. But they um, didn't, they had, these actually little like 12 year old girls bought it right before I got in there. And so I was kind of bummed. And so it was actually just cheaper for me to buy the set of four that they had. But I don't have the name of the collection because the girl on the box was really creepy. And I ripped it up because I didn't want to look at her creepy face anymore. And so I don't know what this collection is called. But anyway, I got it in a set of four polishes. And the first polish is called Roguish Red. Um, and it's, you know, it's showing up pretty. These are showing up just a hair brighter on camera than they are in real life. This one is a little more orange than it's showing up on camera. It looks a whole lot more red, to, probably to you guys. But it's actually closer. It's redder than my shirt but it's just a very bright orange red it kind of reminds me of the one that came out the um, orange is so obvious that came out with the essie spring collection just that really pretty red orange and it's a little different for halloween but i feel like it could you know this is kind of one i think that will work for most all season so and then the next one is bizarre blurple and i guess as you can tell it's blue and it's purple mixed together it's really pretty. It's funny because depending on how you hold it in the light, it can look um, more blue at certain angles and more purple in other angles. But as I'm holding it, it looks quite a bit more purple. But I think that's going to be a really pretty color for fall. And it actually looks really similar to one of the colors that came out in the James Bond um, OPI collection, which I'm going to show you here in a minute. And then along with that came a ghoulish glow um, glow in the dark polish and these are cool I've had these before I can't always get mine to look good it has kind of like a matte dry formula sorry they're doing construction outside so I'm hearing all these crazy noises out the window it dries kind of matte and I think for me it works the best under like a black crackle but I've never had very much luck with um, the glow in the dark nail polish just so if you have any tips on that you can leave it in the comments below but I like the little ghost on it. I think that's pretty cool. And then the last one that came in this set is the one that I'm wearing. I'm wearing it over top of just like a dark red. But this glitter is um, dense enough that you can wear it by itself. You don't have to paint it over something. But this is Glitter Goblin. And it's really pretty. It's different than a lot of glitters I've seen. It has gold, purple, silver, and orange glitter. And it's just really pretty. And it goes well over a lot of different colors. But that's the one I was trying to get, so that's the reason I bought the whole set with the creepy girl on the box. Speaking of creepy girl, this video is a little Blair Witch Project today. I apologize for that. The next one I got is, um, Essie actually came out with their, like, I don't know if it's going to be their Christmas holiday collection or if they're going to come out with something. Usually around Christmas time, they put out, like, some glitters or something shimmery, a little more festive, and I don't know if they're going to do that this year or not. I haven't heard anything, but for their winter collection they um and it was inspired by like leading ladies and hot old hollywood and stuff and it's called leading lady and so i got uh, two from that i wanted more but you know gotta pay my bills but it's really pretty this is leading lady which is the uh i can't think today the collection's namesake is what i'm trying to say and it's pretty it reminds me a lot of like it's a very dense um maroon glitter with like a maroon jelly underneath it and it's sort of like a vampier version of dorothy's ruby slippers it's maroon instead of red but it's that exact same concept 
of Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz's Ruby Slipper. So I really like that one. It's really pretty for fall and winter. Um, and I just think it's very glamorous. And then the next one, it's kind of funny because you would never in a million years picture a color like this in a winter collection. So I'm not sure why they did it, but I still think it's really cool. This is Where Is My Chauffeur? And it's showing up on camera a lot brighter. In real life, it's actually like the aqua cousin of mint candy apple. That's such a famous and popular color from Essie. On camera, it looks like the turquoise that came out with the um, Shiny Glaze Electro Pop, and it doesn't look like that at all. It's much lighter, much more of a pastel color. But it's really pretty. And if you Google um, Essie Where's My Chauffeur, there's a lot of really pretty blog pictures, so you can get an idea of what it looks like. It actually looks pretty cool next to like the darker colors that people wear in the fall time. So it's unexpected, and I, I kind of liked that. And then the last collection I bought stuff for, and I definitely want to go back and get more, I ordered these off of um, Amazon, mainly just because they're so much cheaper. And in my, I live in a small city, but it's not very fashion forward. And so they tend to get collections of things kind of late. We're actually getting an Ulta at the end of this month. I'm really excited. So I'm hoping that that's going to help. Um, I just get like beauty collections and things in quicker because right now it's sad and I didn't want to wait. But this is um, for holiday this year, OPI is putting out a James Bond collection. It's one in the, it's some anniversary, I want to say 60th anniversary of the James Bond movies, but I don't know if that's right or not, so don't hold me to it. But the new Skyfall movie for James Bond is coming out in November. And so for this collection, each of the nail polishes is named after one of the Bond movies. Which the Bond movies are okay. I mean, you know, whatever. I like them. And there's a few of them that I can tolerate. I actually like the older ones better than the newer ones. And there's a few of them I haven't fallen asleep during. I couldn't tell you what they were. I liked the one um, that had Jaws in it. When you get the cable, but I don't know which movie that was. <laughs> but anywho, um, the first polish is probably my favorite. It's Live and Let Die. And it is a really pretty, like, forest green. It's a very similar color to that, what the heck was it called, the Aragog, or no, that's the spider from Harry Potter, <laughs> Aragon today, something tomorrow, or whatever it was called, the very dark green that came out with the Spain collection. Maybe that wasn't the Spain collection, I don't know what collection it is, but anyway, there was a really dark OPI polish with a name that sounded like Aragog, the spider, only I mean, it wasn't, it looked like this, <laughs> and I knew you guys were like, what? Um... A similar color, very, very pretty. It almost has like just a teeny tiny bit of a blue to it. It's so pretty. I don't have anything like this, and I have a ton of nail polish. I don't have anything like this at all, not even close. I was really excited about this one, but it has a gold and a green glitter to it. And so to me, it almost looks like, for some reason, this polish makes me think of like medieval times and dragon scales. I know that sounds crazy, but I don't know. I just really like it. And then the other one I got... And I definitely want to go back. There was um, a gold color that I really liked. And then, not the 30 there's also a $30 bottle of like a gold leaf that you can get for an anniversary. But I cannot justify paying $30 for a nail polish. If I had $30 to pay for a nail polish, I totally would. But I need a new car. So that has to come first. But trust me, if I was a baller, I would have several bottles of that gold leaf nail polish. Because it is awesome. But um, I can't remember the name of that one either. I think it's gold, maybe just Goldfinger. Who knows? But anyway, there's also just a regular gold nail polish that looks similar to the gold leaf. So if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, I would suggest that one because it is gorgeous. And there's another, um, there's several other shimmer colors. There's like a shimmery blue and a shimmery gum metal. And I kind of like to check those out in person and maybe get them too. So if I get them, I'll show those to you later on. But the next one I got is called the Living Daylight. And it is so it is very similar setup to the glitter that came out with the Muppets collection, only I don't see as many of the smaller pieces. It almost looks like like a hexagonal glitter, but it's so pretty. It's green, oh, excuse me, not green. It's like an aqua, tur like a turquoise color, gold, silver, and a, like a rust color. And I've just never seen those colors put together before, and it's so pretty. The camera is not doing it justice because it is gorgeous. And it looks good over like 90% of the polishes that came out with the um, James Bond Skyfall collection. And I also think it would look really good over um, a gold polish or an orange polish 
there's so many different things you could do with that and I just think it's going to be really pretty for holiday I was a huge fan even though a lot of people complained about how hard um, rainbow connection was to get off I love glitter and I don't mind um, I you know you just have to know going into it that it's going to be some effort but this is so but anyway, I wanted to show that to you just quickly today. And if you've gotten any cool nail polishes, let me know because I'm always up for getting more. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.